Cracker barrel to the rescue. Chopsticks, scrambled eggs, hash brown casserole, side of bacon, biscuits and gravy, orange juice and coffee. Well, I don't mind, oh, let's not forget the A1 for the ground steak. I don't mind if I do. What a way to start the day. I'm walking quietly because there were about five deer that just ran right over into these trees. So I don't want to scare them away as I'm getting closer to them. It's a beautiful morning. like they're gone. They were all about right there. They were just hop skipping and jumping around. <laughs> Love it when they do that like they're playing in the cool morning air and do. Sure is a beautiful day today. Hardly any wind at all. Just a little breeze. Supposed to be like 60 degrees. Sunny and then giving way to clouds. And then it's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow morning. But a good day of hiking before then. Very noisy interstate behind me. Basically, I've been walking underneath that, around that, ever since I left the uh, motel in Daleville. And now I'm walking, well, I just walked underneath it. I was in the woods all the time, I wasn't walking on the interstate, <laughs> should clarify that. But you're near it, so you hear that noise the whole time. Now, well, then there's another road here, too, <laughs> that I just had to walk uh, for a short distance, 100 yards or so, on the road. It had somewhat heavy traffic, eh, not too heavy, minimal traffic, but still, not much shoulder or anything. It's noisy. When you're in the woods for a long time, you don't want to hear the sounds of cars and traffic, that's for sure. But walking away from it now, so we'll start getting a little more peaceful and a little more quiet here shortly. But while I'm thinking about it, let's celebrate the fact that one third of the Appalachian Trail is in the bag. That purple on the trees, my friends. Spring is coming. Here within a week or two, it's probably going to be a lot of green and I'm loving it. Winter still might try to stick its head through, but spring is definitely trying to push its head through and take over.
The birds are having a conversation above my head. I can't translate though. <laughs> Got rather cloudy quickly. It's pretty much all clouds <laughs> in every direction. No sun to be seen now. I thought that would uh, be later in the day when it went from sun to clouds. I guess not. It's pretty early in the morning. So I had a good time. I got to call it a good time <laughs> in Daleville. When I say good time, I mean got some rest, ate a lot of food did my laundry and did some resupply that's my idea of a good time right now <laughs> but uh it was good to get that rest and uh heading back out today i stayed at the uh super eight motel which was literally 150 yards or so from where the trail crosses a major road uh which probably there should be a better way to have that trail cross that road because it's a very busy road and cars going very fast and there's kind of corners involved if you want to walk to like the Cracker Barrel or McDonald's or anything you have to go under an underpass for the interstate and there's nowhere to walk so you have to kind of walk on the shoulder then jump over a barrier and walk underneath the viaduct <laughs> so I stayed as safe as possible obviously I'm not gonna walk down the middle of the road with people going 50 miles an hour or more, which there's definitely more, but her people going more. <laughs> but it was a nice time, good, good rest, and uh, <clears throat> getting uh, resupplied in the body, resupplied in the mind with the rest, and resupplied with some clean clothes. <laughs> so, just looking forward to getting back out here on the trail today. And so far, it's been a beautiful day, but a lot of it in the trees but I will be coming up to the Blue Ridge Parkway soon. Uh, I don't know if that'll be today or tomorrow, but I cross it several times. It goes kind of S-curve back and forth over to Blue Ridge Parkway, which is very, very nice big views. As long as it's not cloudy or foggy where you can't see the views, but find out if that's the case or not. At the end of the day, still making the miles, still going north, still enjoying everything, taking it all in because it's all beautiful. All the different types of weather, all the different types of terrain, all the seasons, it's beautiful. And I enjoy every minute of it, but I'm getting hungry. So I might have to be stopping here and getting a snack here pretty soon. But for now, this is the office. I will complain about one thing. Uh, with the Super 8, only one, I don't like to complain, but I want to let people know that it might be coming through there on the AT or section hiking or whatever else. Uh, it's a two-story motel. Obviously, it's a Super 8. <laughs> it's not a Crown Plaza or a Marriott. It's a, you get what you're paying for. It's, it's clean. It's real nice and clean and has been refurbished. They have laundry on site and everything, a Mexican restaurant right in front of it. Uh, like I said, really super convenient to the trail. Uh, but there was a lot of noise. I had some uh, partiers, shall we say, down the hall that was just opening, shutting doors, yelling up and down the hall at each other instead of just waiting till they're next to the person to talk to them. <laughs> and it happened all hours. I, I say it pretty much was done by midnight, so it wasn't as bad as, you know, like it can be like two or three in the morning, but... Uh, obviously, for a through hiker, a lot of times we try to be in bed by 8 or 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock's actually pushing in kind of late, but it's a little different when you're in a motel or a hostel. Usually stay up a little later and get up a little later than you would out in the forest. But it is a little noisy, so it is basically a Roanoke suburb. Uh, 
I think it's like seven to eight miles from Roanoke itself. So just keep that in mind. It's not a hostel. There's other people there that are not hikers. And uh, it was just pretty loud uh, in the hallways. And then also people was going out to their cars and blaring music and like it was a block party or something. <laughs> so there was that too. Uh, but that's it. No big deal. You're going to get that kind of thing anywhere. I'm just not real fond of society right now when I'm out here. It's like, kind of want to get away from all that. And I am away from that most of the time. So when I have to be around it, it's uh, the nerves are a little more fra razzled, frazzled, whatever word would go there. Uh, just over, over active senses, that's for sure. So... Just want to let anyone know when you're coming through. There is a couple hostels around that area, so you might want to go that way if you don't want to put up with the noises of traffic and uh, people, you know, that are not hikers doing their thing. All right, continuing on. I was just cruising along and my head kind of wandering, thinking about some different things like it does all the time. <laughs> but all of a sudden I'm like, man, I need to look at my app. I need to look at the map to uh, see if I'm still on the trail or not. <laughs> this seems really easy. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often on the Appalachian Trail where it's just flat for a long time. It's probably been a good mile of just like this. Yeah, beautiful trail, right, a little rocky right now. When I say rocky, I don't mean like rocks are climbing on, just like little stones on the trail. And before that, it was just nice, grassy, soft <laughs> dirt and green trees on both sides like this. And I'm like, man, this, this, normally when it's this easy, you've got enough trail and you're on something else. And I looked and I'm sure enough, I was on trail, but I'm digging this for a little bit right now. I don't mind having a flat spot here and there that lasts for 2,200 miles. <laughs> okay, I'm joking about that. I would never get to climb mountains if it was flat all the time, <laughs> but it's kind of cool. Nice views, even though it's cloudy, got the mountains over here. Like I said, everything's starting to get a little greener. Trail's cruisy right now, allows me to think about the things I need to think about, which I don't think I need to think about any of the things I'm thinking about, to be honest. My brain just keeps force feeding a bunch of thoughts through. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, continuing on on this cruisy path, which I'm sure is not going to be cruisy much longer, and we'll start climbing up a hill or up a mountain or up to the ridge again. But for now, I'm digging it. That sun is starting to pop out again, and it just happens to be on a descent. <laughs> so it was really getting cold up top. The breeze and everything, I actually had to put my gloves on. I'm like, goodness, normally when there's elevation involved, I start warming up, but it wasn't. A lot of flat spot, little ups, little downs, nothing long enough for me to start warming up. And then the sun was obviously behind the clouds too, so it probably never got above like 40 degrees or actually probably 35, maybe 30 even up top. And so I put the gloves on and as soon as I start coming down where it's autom automatically gonna start getting warmer, <laughs> then the sun is coming out as well. So it feels like it's 20 degrees warmer down here now. <laughs> it's funny how things can change so quickly in the mountains and in the forest. Uh, with the different terrain and different elevation. And then, of course, when you have perfectly blue skies, <laughs> when it was just all gray, not even 20 minutes ago. So that's kind of cool, because now I'm going to get to be in that sun for the next several hours. Uh, it's supposed to really start moving in with some heavy rain around 6 tonight from the last time I'm seeing the weather and the radar. Uh, there's going to be over an inch of rain in these parts. So I am looking at a plan B, which, uh, you know, signals go, come and go, but there's a trail angel that is going to be able to take me back to a hostel uh, where I'm going to stay in the bunk room, uh, Beach Hill, 
which is in Daleville, which is where I just was. But at least I'm getting my miles in today, and then I'm going to go back there. Because with an inch of rain, I don't really want... Uh, I mean, I could. <laughs> I just don't want to uh, stay in a shelter tonight, because I'll get everything damp, and the next few days is just going to be straight up me hiking, going north, getting as many miles as I can, going towards Shenandoah. But... This allows me to stay dry tonight, still get my miles in, and it's very inexpensive as it is the bunk room. Uh, it's a really nice place too. I stayed there before last year, and uh, she makes a really nice breakfast in the morning, so kind of like a bed and breakfast. And <laughs> do I look like I'm dancing? Because I'm not. Had a little rock hop there on a water source. But uh, actually, I'm going to stay here and get some water. So, But I, I'm looking to get picked up here uh, probably about 8 miles. So it'll be about a 20-mile day. And uh, then being brought back here in the morning once the rain stops. It's only going to be from like 6 o'clock tonight till like mid-morning tomorrow. Uh, pretty heavy rains. So I'll be able to stay dry with that humidity and everything. Not have to be out in the shelter. Which is going to be really important for the next few days. So... That's the plan, but I might change my mind by the time I get there. I never know. Right now, I'm gonna get some of this awesome water. In this section, it is, uh, instead of ridge walking, which it is a form of ridge walking, but it's more wrapping around the mountains, not really getting to the top or any summits, just a lot of ups, and then you keep walking, kind of wrapping around, then you come down to some water, and then you go up again. That's what it's been so far most of the day. Was well, up high, I mean, high for this area, 2,500 maybe 3,000, but as you can see, just hiking up right now, then it's going to stay there probably for a little bit and wrap around, maybe go higher and lower again a couple times and kind of descend a little bit. Just a lot of ups and downs, and to be honest, that's what uh, the story of Virginia is a lot. <laughs> a lot of little ups and downs. Uh, not quite the ridge walking that I've been doing the last several days where you get up high and then you have basically views to the east and west. Just uh, kind of wrapping around, as you can see, up here is kind of the top of this hill and it just wraps around. Keeps going there all the way around.
peeking through the trees at the base of this mountain and then the valley beyond that. I think I'm gonna get some better views up here as I will be crossing Blue Ridge Parkway soon. And over the next several miles, I will be crossing back and forth quite a bit to see some really awesome views into the valley and different mountaintops. The Blue Ridge Parkway. It is open because I've seen and heard some cars going by. Not a whole lot of them though. It's pretty cool that they have these little cutouts here on the trail where you'll cross the road and there'll be an overlook. So you get to uh, see some more views than what you just see on the trail. And they're pretty epic as you can see, even though it's cloudy out or mostly cloudy. Taylor Mountain and uh, here's 2340. Not sure which one Taylor Mountain is, but I'm guessing it's that one. I don't really know though. All I know is I don't get to climb it. <laughs> That's the only thing that matters to me. I don't get to climb Taylor Mountain. This beautiful view, the rocks, these pink and red flowers, purple flowers, the huge green valley, the dark gray skies, and the hazy rainy clouds. And then over here, the sun peeking through these beautiful mountains. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. Andy Lions.
This is the view on the west side of Harvey's Knob. Just a little overlook onto the west side in the West Valley. Absolutely gorgeous. Even though there's no leaves on these trees here, <laughs> the colors today with those clouds is just absolutely stunning. There's even bugs flying around in front of the camera. Sitting on a rock on the summit of Harvey's Knob. The Appalachian Trail wrapped around this direction. The Blue Ridge Parkway wrapped around this direction around the summit. And I seen a way to climb up some rocks here to get to the summit. Because I had to get one today at least. So Harvey's Knob is in the bag. Coming down is always harder than going up. I'm telling you that right now.